Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm here sitting with my good friend, Nadine Robbins. We're going to talk about TikTok. Maybe you have heard about TikTok before. I'm sure you have. So let's talk about why artists, you know, should consider looking at TikTok seriously. Resources, inspiring interviews, business practices, and practical advice to take your art career to the next level. Join Sergio Gomez in today's Artist Next Level and get ready to take control of your career. Well, Nadine, good morning. How are you today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I am doing great, doing great. Uh, Midwest meets East Coast right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, super happy to be here with you. And um, mm-hmm. today we're going to talk about TikTok because that's a you know, platform that's been in the news lately quite a bit. And I think uh, people have been hearing more and more about it. Artists uh, are curious about it too. And uh, so I wanted to start kind of a series of, of um, you know, episodes in which we look at TikTok as well. And you're an artist who I've uh, been working on TikTok. You've been using TikTok. And I like what you're doing in the platform too, which is great. I know you from, uh, I think we have known each other for quite a bit of years. I don't know how many, but you know, many years. At least at least six or seven years for <laughs> sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, we always usually commenting on each other, you know, things that we're doing uh, as well, respectively. And so it's always been fun working with you. And uh, today we, you know, we decided, why don't we talk a little bit about TikTok and um, the experience that you had there. So uh, to start, so we're friends who, first of all, do not know you work out. Tell us a little bit about your art. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Um, Well, I'm a hyper-realist painter, and I like to paint um, uh, portraits of people in kind of a quirky and fun way. Um, I'm Mm -hmm. also known for painting oysters, which I love. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, I'm pursuing kind of a little bit of a different direction that I'm pretty excited about. Oh, that's cool. uh, That adds a bit more of a my personality into my work and um you know we'll see where that leads me but uh it's been that's a nice great. year to explore that's great that's awesome and as you're talking about it, i'm showing some some of your uh, artwork here for friends to also take a look at okay so nadine let's talk about tiktok uh, that's kind of our episode for today so how long have you been on tiktok and how did you get interested on it the first time well um you know it's funny about a year and a half maybe two years ago, um, I had first downloaded it okay, and wanted to play around with it, but I heard that there was a real security breach, so I ignored mm-hmm. it Okay, until I started to see that there was more activity, and I was like, mm, let me go explore and see what it's about, and that was probably in April, you know, okay. during COVID, because I was like, okay, well, I mean, honestly, I wanted to be able to do something Mm -hmm. where I can make a little money on the side, which helps, you know, pay for art supplies and all that. And that's how that began. Yeah. And uh, so since then, I've been playing around with it and learning what it does and, you know, dispelling the myths that a lot of people have about uh, TikTok. And, you know, I've been part of this mastermind group, which had real in-depth uh, education and knowledge about yeah. everything from the politics that have been happening, you know, about TikTok and all these different sort of techniques and hacks that you can yeah. do to, you know, to uh, get lots of followers and views. Um, mm-hmm. So that's kind of how I got into it and why. No, that is great. And uh, now uh, you talk about some of the myths and I think in a future episode, we should go back and talk about those more in depth. But one of the biggest ones that that I've heard is that, well, TikTok is just for kids. So tell me a little bit about, you know, I'm sure you have heard that many times too, (laughs) you know. Uh, So tell me more more about it. Um, Well, it initially was a dance app and it was Mm -hmm. for kids. And that's why um, you see so much, you know, dancing on it. And that's fun and everything. But it has um, eventually, it, it, it's, it is for kids, but those kids are getting older. <laughs> yeah, and, they're not staying as kids. <laughs> that's, the big, that's the big thing. And TikTok is in its infancy right now mm-hmm. as these people are getting older. And so the last I heard that the, the, the demographic was, you know, I think it was 12 to 15 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then within six or seven months, it was becoming more like 17 to 23. Mm -hmm. And so 
you can already see that you can follow your followers depending. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. And it's going um, very fast, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I mean, when you consider that Facebook, you know, when it started, it was for college students. You know, now it's right, for, right. you know, the grandmas and grandpas who want to see what they're, you know, what the kids know, are doing. Right, right, exactly. The grandkids, right? Yeah, That's how yeah. my parents uh, look at what I'm doing. So, uh, you know, then same for Instagram. Instagram started, you know, oh, it's just for the teenagers. You take selfies and pictures. Now we are all there, right? And now there's just TikTok. So things evolve really fast. And I think that evolved faster than ever before because of the previous history of other platforms. Uh, and it's evolving. And I think as artists, and it's something that you and I, we have to talk about, you know, yeah, as people age and as we're looking as artists also to grow our base and our collector base, uh, we also want to uh, bring in to our, you know, to our audience, the younger audience, because they, when they may become collectors as well. Sure. What, Absolutely. Well, yeah. and, you know, they have a lot more disposable income. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I've found that, you know, um, some of the followers that I have, if they want to print, they're happy to drop, you know, $50, $70. I know that's not a lot for a print, but they're younger, right? Exactly. But they have that type of disposable income. And that's how they and, start. Mm -hmm, exactly, exactly. exactly. They want prints, they want something drawn for themselves. And, you know, that's, that's a little tricky. You know, you don't want to become the person that draws everybody on, on Facebook. But <laughs> right. Conversation. <laughs> so, I mean, Larry, Larry Gagosian, he started selling posters. <laughs> you know? Exactly. You on start somewhere, right? So, mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how it all starts uh, for somebody who may grow that passion. And that's all they can afford now. But then they, they'll evolve uh, and mature. So tell me about, um, you know, when you look at, you know, uh, TikTok versus Instagram, right? Which kind of was like the jump for most people right now who, for, I mean, we're speaking about artists, right? We are already on, on Instagram trying to grow and it's so hard right now on Instagram because it's been around for a long time. It's a lot of, the audience is big. There's a lot of content also. Uh, algorithms are getting worse and worse in terms of organic reach and so on. But uh, tell me, how do you compare that experience to now, let's say jumping into TikTok? Um, well, that's the, you know, that's the beauty of TikTok. TikTok, there you go. TikTok is <laughs> that um, uh, it is organic growth. Mm -hmm. It's where Instagram used to be. <laughs> right. So you can be rewarded with views and everything just as much as, you know, Apple. Mm -hmm. it, 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 you know, good content is going to get you followers and views. That's it. And, but the difference, what I liked about going from Instagram to TikTok is that uh, it's much more dynamic. You know, it's all mm -hmm. video and nothing flat. So I, I just right. don't feel like flat is going to really work anymore. So that's the beauty of fine art and TikTok mm -hmm. is we can show the art, mm -hmm. but how do you make that art become, you know, interactive or I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I think I made my point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, totally. Yeah, I mean, and, and there's something about us when we look at a device and something is moving, there's motion. And within that motion, uh, what I love about TikTok is uh, when I look and there's like storytelling, you know, also exactly. with those 15 seconds or 30 seconds or 60 seconds, you know, which is the maximum of the TikTok uh, video. But, you know, even the short ones, sometimes this storytelling, we're talking about like the reveals, right? wait for it or it's coming or something's about to happen and you're waiting for it. And there's it been happens. like, and there's some of them like and you're waiting and not, never nothing happens. And you're like, ah, you know, it makes you come back for more. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, there's also that kind of a uh, seed yeah. of, that puts in your brain of uh, intrigueness of you want to look at more and more. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I mean, I mean those Instagram, platforms are made for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Instagram is still really valid. Then, you know, I'm not saying that we don't want to, you shouldn't right. use that. I just think that, you know, in this Reels, which is now direct competitor of TikTok, uh, but very limited in what yeah. it can do in compare, you know, TikTok is much more robust. Right. Um, but that's, you know, I think the beauty of having both and also, mm -hmm. wait, I, you know what, I will give you the, an important tip is that yeah. TikTok encourages sharing on all other platforms. Mm. So having a lot of your followers on TikTok, they expect to share wherever people, and people don't have to have the app necessarily to see those videos. All right. So you so can make a, a TikTok and share it to your Facebook. You can share it to your Instagram. They can see it or, you know, I'll text it to people, you know, video that I like. 
uh-huh. and they can click and open it up, but yet they don't even have an account. That is great. So it, mm-hmm. you know, you don't have to have, so it's, um, I, I like the fact that it's organic, that you can easily share anywhere and that they encourage it. And you can bring people from TikTok now back to, excuse me, Instagram back. I mean, there's, I, I'm, I'm going on and on, but there's a lot. It's, it's, so it's, uh, it's refreshing. Yeah. You know, I, I, Instagram has gotten really stale. And, and when they right. changed the algorithm, I think it was, you know, personally, I think it was a big mistake. Yeah. And, uh, but that's, you know. Exactly. No, I think there's a lot of meat that, that we can really break into different episodes and talk I know, it's sorry, about I, it. I, I, I've been be getting great. so into it lately, <laughs> yeah. you know, that I'm like, it's, start, it's hard for me to keep it short. But Yeah, well, let, let's, let's talk about one more thing and then uh, we'll say goodbye for our friends for now. Okay. And of course, I will have you back in another time. So continue talking. Definitely, a lot because of, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, yeah. a lot of testing. But let's talk about maybe one of your best performing posts on TikTok. If you can describe it, I'm going to show it here. On the side, what's one of your best, uh, uh, you know, performing posts on TikTok? Uh, how one? well it went, and what is it? Which one are you going to show? You, you I pick. Have you tell me which one you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there, there are two of them, but I would say that the first one that really went uh, viral was um, my doing a reveal. Um, actually, not exactly a reveal of my oyster painting. Mm-hmm. What I did, and I, I think I know why it succeeded, is I showed a, uh, uh, the painting and kind of brought it closer to the viewer. Mm-hmm. And just, and I had a call to action, which told them, check out the spoon. And I said, clearly, I said, my, uh, my client who hired me asked me to put the kitchen in the spoon. Uh-huh. And people were like, what? <laughs> and I made it fairly short, right? Eight seconds. Uh-huh. Um, eight seconds. Eight seconds. So at a minimum, eight seconds uh-huh. uh, is a good number to go by. So eight seconds. They looked at it, and what I did is that I, at the end, people wanted to rewatch it because they didn't quite see it, right? So <laughs> I, I made the video so that they couldn't really exactly see it, so they uh-huh. had to see it again. Again. And that's the key with TikTok is that if you get repeat views then it shots it shoots up to the for you page so how many views did you have on that one it's a good question i think i'm up to is it a million that one has eight hundred thousand, maybe wow almost a million views that's incredible it, it really is and and but i think that um yeah i think there's that one there may be another but but, you know, but a million the, and, views you could have never <laughs> get that on instagram right never so no. Forget about Facebook. But uh, now on TikTok, let's say a post like that. Uh, on Instagram, Facebook, you know, posts die fairly quickly. On Instagram, is it still fresh content? Even though you did it a while ago, people still watch it? Oh, what do you, oh you're asking if I posted that video on Instagram? No, meaning like, meaning like a, a post in a regular post that we do on Facebook or on Instagram, it dies fairly quickly. Like, you know, yes. it's gone... You know, after maybe a couple of days that nobody's going to look at it again. But how about on TikTok? Do they live longer? Oh, yes, yes, exactly. So I'll give you an example. You, if you make a post uh-huh. and within the first, let's say, half an hour, well, first hour, you have at least 400 to like 1,000 views. Uh-huh. TikTok's going to reward that because they see, oh, they like that. Somebody's interested in it. So after a little while, not necessarily the same day or the second, you know, you will find that all of a sudden it goes back onto the For You page. And Mm. now TikTok is going to show it to people from 1,000 to 10,000 people. Got it. And as you progress, the more and more people like it, then you go into 10 to like 40, 50,000. And, you know, it can go all the way to 40, 50, 60 million. And that's that's it. And they constantly reward you by showing it to more people. That's exciting. Super cool, Nadine. Well, thank you so much for sharing, you know, some of the things that you're doing right now. We'll come back for more. This was just a little taste. And uh, for sure, you got me excited too. And I just came, I opened my account of TikTok like a long time ago, probably before my kids. And I didn't do anything with it. I forgot about it. And then, um, you know, 
just uh, last week I started posting every day, and uh, so uh, I'm I'm taking it back seriously and having a, a fun time, you know, with the application and looking at everything that it can do. Uh, and yeah. thanks also for your help on that. So, uh, for our friends who are not following you right now on TikTok or who are now curious to see what you're doing, where can they find you in the platform? Oh, cool. Yeah, they can find me at Nadine Robbins Artist. Oh, Nadine. no, excuse me. Oh, sorry, Nadine Robbins Art. Oh, my God. Art, okay. <laughs> Nadine Robbins Art. And you can find me on TikTok if you want to see also uh, how I'm working on it at Sergio Gomez Art. So, we'd love to see you there. Say hello as well. Uh, let us know if you watch this episode. Uh, and, um, you know, any takeaways that you had from it as well. So thank you, Nanin, for being here with us. Uh, yeah, we will you. have you back again very Sounds soon good. and uh, showing more of the content and some of the things that you're doing. So thanks again for our friends. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with all your friends and we'll see you in TikTok. Goodbye. Check out our website at www.theartistnextlevel.com where you will find our podcast library, learn about our upcoming webinars, find resources relevant to your career, and much more. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and we'll see you at the next level. Mm -hmm.